Okay. Welcome to an episode of Ink Transfer Drawing with Mark Zimmerman. You are seeing ink being rolled out on a sheet of plexiglass. I want a nice, even, smooth layer. I'm going to do an ink transfer drawing. I should probably mention also that I'm here uh, because of the folk, good folks at Sanford Arts who bring you these things in the hospital that I suppose are a bit of a diversion, bring a little joy. So I'm going to do an ink transfer drawing. I'm going to put a sheet of paper face down over that ink and then I'm going to draw and rub on the back of this paper which I just taped down so I don't get a lot of smearing. The ink is inside a rectangle of tape and I can feel that tape. I'm just going to poke that pen up into that corner and drag it along the edge of that tape. Drag it a little too far. And I've got a photograph I took of a posk flower that I that I kind of want to draw here. So there's a little it's a delicate flower. It's a hard thing to draw in this ink transfer process because kind of the process um, is not a very delicate process and you can't exactly even control what you're doing so I'm putting in the center of the center of the of the POSC together here I don't know what all these flower parts are even anymore. My biology teacher would not be impressed. But I'm just doing this sort of galaxy of little little yellow parts in there, trying not to overdo it because everything I draw turns is a black mark on the other side of the paper. Here's a petal. And before I even leave it, I'm going to transfer a little ink just by touching it with my finger. And that little pressure from my little finger transfers just a little bit of ink to the other side. Hmm. Let's transfer a little ink right here, and let's draw some veining in that flower. Petal, I guess it's a petal. shadow there. I think I'm going to jump across and do this petal, which is going right off my paper, I see. Little shadow. 
And there's a pedal here. With some veining. And a bit of a shadow. And a pedal down in here. With a little shadow there. Got a fuzzy little hard to draw a fuzzy line. I'm trying. And then it's sitting in some pine duff. I don't want to draw all of that. I do want to suggest it. Just in sort of a way of getting the, my uh, foreground to separate from my background there. That's a little posk flower. I think I'm going to darken some of this to And maybe we should take a peek, see what it is we have done under there. Sometimes it's a little surprising. Yeah, I think we're okay. I'm going to splash a little watercolor paint on it next. There it is. As you can tell, comes out backwards, so it's a mirror image of the photograph. Get that ink out of there, get my pen out of here, get my brush warmed up. I'm going to want to do a wash, I can tell right now. So I'm going to put this on a little piece of cardboard and lets me tip it. And... So when I paint that petal, I'm actually painting this petal. Mostly I'm just saying that to remind myself. So I'm going to put the dark parts in. Switch to a different brush. And just use water. Drag just a little color up there. Again, do just a little bit of the okay. So here the dark is way up in here. And a little bit down toward the bottom too. And let's just move over one. There's a puppy in here with in the studio with me. She's decided to snore. <laughs> Must be nap time. Let's get that uh, soften that up a little bit. Soften this up a little bit. Soften 
this up a little bit. And this one up a little bit. And it looks like I have one left here. That would be this pedal and it's over there. So, oops. Get that dark in here. And a little dark up here toward the top of that shape. Rinse things off a little bit. The ink kind of gets on my brush now. I end up painting black, which I didn't really want to do. Um, I think I'm going to put some deeper, deeper shadows in here too. an eyedropper and a little bit of blue paint add it to with the tiny bit of that purple I had left and then I'm going to look at that and see if and Blue works a little bit like a shadow. One last little shadow. So that one right there. Okay. Uh, got a fuzzy little stem here. Let's see how dark this green is. Should be about right. Should be a little too dark, actually. <laughs> now that I see it. Let's take some yellow and see if we can lighten that up just a touch, especially on this side. Huh? There we go. Lighter, brighter. Uh, I think I'm going to come back and hit this center. Um, There's just a little spot that stays white. It's on the left side over there, so it's on the right side here. If you're like me and you're dyslexic, all this thinking backwards business makes perfect sense. And then there's a little orange in that yellow too. So there we go. tip this a little bit. And I'm going to try a wash here with a um, little burnt sienna. It's kind of a reddish brown. I'm going to tip it just a touch so that that paint that's in my brush flows down 
I'm going to use gravity to help me paint this. Adding little bits of water to that wash so it's a teeny, teeny bit lighter at the bottom than it is at the top. Now the question is, do I get a background right there? I think I do. I think I'm going to go with an indigo background. New color for my palette. Never used indigo before. This might be a mistake. Yeah, I'm going to let it tip just a touch and run downhill fill that shape up and then I think I might want some Indigo down in here too. Then I'm gonna let that paint run in a different direction and run it downhill this way. Work my way around. Tip it that way now. Use my brush to drag some of that along too. So right now I'm painting upside down on a drawing that's backwards. <laughs> so we're working upside down and backwards. Did I just bump the camera? I think I did. Not too much anyway. So, cleaning that brush up. I always sign them in pencil. I'm going to call it Spring Posk. Sign it. And date it 2020. And this and other ink transfers should be sitting somewhere in the waiting room where you are or wherever you are watching this video. And they are free. 
If you like one, help yourself. If you want, you can watch the video of its creation. I think I am going to do something to this foreground. Where I can, I'm going to dry that off, lighten it up a touch, come back with a little bit of yellow. Little bits of yellow. Alright, now I'm done fussing with it. No, I'm not. So I'm going to lighten that stem just a touch. Now I am. Anyway, help yourself to this or another drawing if you like it. And watch the video. You can see how it was made. Hope you had fun doing it. I had fun. Till next time.